welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And so today I'm going to give you another garden update. So uh, we got the beds all finished. The tops are on. I'm going to take you out. I did relocate. I don't remember if I showed you that in the last video. I think I did. Um, I relocated the one. I switched it around a little bit better. I think it's really balanced and I have an idea for the center. I also have a great idea for another raised bed that I'm going to want to do in the future, but I know how to build them now. And so I, I will be able to do that and I'll wait till the lumber prices go down or I'll get some more lumber that won't cost me an arm and a leg like this lumber. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to show you how everything's growing. It's beautiful. We had record heat. It was 112 degrees the other day and then 109 the next day. And now we're down It's 72. So uh, I think the high today was only 75 or something. So total change. It's overcast, but I think it's perfect. It won't get any glares on the camera and I want to take you out there anyway. So guys, don't forget this week. I also have a live chat on Saturday, Saturday afternoon at four um, for members only. And we'll be talking about a few things and maybe a big reveal on what happens there. Um, yeah, Friday, I think is the day. Hopefully keep my fingers crossed. It doesn't come freight damage. The new fridge will be here and I'll do a big reveal for members only. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably just do a little video and put it over there and, but we're going to have a live chat and we're going to talk about a bunch of things and, uh, and some of it is gardening. Some of it's going to be canning. Some of it's going to be, you know, uh, planning ahead for the future and things that I'm seeing happening right before my very eyes, just like last year, we're seeing some weird panic buying. Um, yeah. So anyways, that being said, let's go outside. All right. <laughs> Don't forget that join buttons down below. If you need it, all the links for anything you might need, my Thrive website, all that's down there too. So now we're going to switch it around and we're going to go outside. Okay. So here we go. And it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. Just uh, uh, what a difference just a few degrees make. Okay, and these, look at these tomato plants, how much they've grown. They loved the hot weather. They never even looked like they were stressed or anything. So, tomatoes all over the place. Uh, flowering, these are the Oregon Springs. So, I did prune them up off the ground, and I'll keep doing that throughout the hot months. We don't, I don't want any blight, so, and they kind of grow bushy. That's some Swiss chard. So we might, we may or may not get any, who, you know, I just throw it in there, throw the seeds in, see what happens. Swiss chard down there, more maters. See how many blossoms are on there? Just beautiful tomatoes in there. Oh yeah. Same over here. And what did I say I have? I have, I have to recount one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's some volunteer tomatoes back there. I need to transplant them into the big beds, but I got to get dirt in them. Those are volunteers from last year. Those will be the hardiest you watch. Okay. Um, and then these tomatoes, I have that one uh, Roma that's in the center. Again, I prune. If you guys want to see how I prune tomato plants, let me know in the comments section. And this is lettuce that's in here around it. Again, I may or may not. And these were a start. These were starts. Those are Oregon Spring starts. Uh, my friend gave me. He did them in his greenhouse. And uh, strawberries have quit producing, but they're sending runners out. So we're gonna get some more plants out of the deal. And oh, look at that lettuce is doing really good. That was started in the greenhouse. These are peppers. I believe these are. Jalapenos, yep, those are jalapeno peppers, two of them there. I get a cool breeze. And I have picked and picked and picked on this lettuce. I'm gonna pick it again tonight because in between there, I've got some Swiss chard that I want to get matured as well. But look at that, it just keeps going and going and going. And this is delicious. Makes wonderful lettuce wraps. So I'm very glad I got that. And rosemary, I don't know what's going on with the rosemary. It's, yeah, 
It needs something. Something's missing in the soil, so I may just recycle that in one of the garden beds. Peppers. So we got jalapeno, habanero, uh, poblano. These are poblano. Um, this one, that's a poblano. Habanero, poblano. Oh, and I've got ancho chili right here. Um, ancho chili. I also have holy moly peppers, and I've grown those before for you. They're delicious. But these doubled in size, literally. In the past few days, they've just doubled in size. <clears throat> Lettuce. These are coming up right behind pretty quickly. I gotta pick that too. I'll be sharing with my daughter and the neighbors. Okay, and some more peppers, serrano peppers, hot sriracha peppers. I'm excited for those. Sriracha peppers, serrano peppers, another habanero, and I think that's it. I think that's, yeah, that's it. Okay, so again, we topped the beds. So this is what I'm doing. Yard debris, grass clippings, um, uh, my kindling block. I don't need that to chop kindling. I do it with my splitter. Um, I'm going to fill these about halfway up with this and cardboard and any yard debris I have and bark, cleaning up the bark around the wood pile. And then I'll add the soil. But nice top rails on these. I love them. <clears throat> and then this one over here, same thing. I do have cardboard started in this one. And so that I've got, I need some more in here, but that's okay. And got the top rails on this. And this is redwood, so it's going to hold up on the weather. And then we did that. That was my vision for that, to bring that up a little bit. But it was suggested, and I don't think, I don't know if there's room, that we that I put another top rail on the that one and this one because we kind of piece those together so I don't know we I might do that I might so those are onions those are yellow onions white onions tons of onions look at that beautiful onion bed red onions on this end and those are all leeks over there and then that bed, we still, I still need to get that up a little bit, block it up a little bit on one end. Not much though, my yard's at a slope. So, and my rhubarb is down here and I've already picked on it. I need to do some recipes for you. Um, ooh, it's saying, give me some water, mom. So, uh, yeah, I pick and leave the leaves to compost, but I'm gonna pick it again and I'll do a barbecue sauce for you if you'd like. It's a sweet and sour barbecue. All right, so that's a look at the garden this year. And it's coming right along, but I really like if you stand back like this and look at what I've, what I've got and see I've got plenty of room here to do something else and I do have a vision for that. So we'll see <laughs> how that pans out. Anyways, alright guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious garden update. These literally are going to be my fall beds, so um, I'm not worried about how soon they get dirt in them, but I would like to get one started to grow the tomato tomatoes that I have so I don't waste them. Alright, we'll see you next time for another delicious recipe and or garden update. And guys. I appreciate all your support, always. Don't forget, go down below, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe. If you like this sort of stuff, let me know what you're growing in your garden, if there's anything new or different. I guess the newest thing I'm growing is the sriracha peppers. I've never had them, and I absolutely love sriracha, so I'm sure I'm gonna love it. All right.